Hey Virgo! I had to stop your reading and restart it because I couldn't remember if the lovers was in the upright or reverse and I had to stop it and go back and look at the video. So here we are. Well, first of all, I wanted to thank everybody who's been getting private readings um, and for sending in donations. I am feeling totally blessed, totally just so grateful to all of you. I've been dealing with a group of amazing people in this really high vibe that are just these generous, caring people. I've had such a great time getting to know everybody. Um, it's been really nice, especially doing the private readings with people and getting to know their personalities and stuff. People I talk to every day, but don't really, you know, spend that one-on-one -on -one time with. Boy, it's been great. Anyway, I'm hoping my air condition isn't bothering you guys, but I have, have, I have central air in here, but it's not strong enough to reach this room. I'm in the hottest room of the house, but I have a great, huge office now. I love it but it is the hottest room of the house. So I'm hoping the air isn't bothering you. It'll probably go off in a few minutes as soon as it cools down in here. But anyway, I wanted to thank you all so much and for the donations you all have been sending. I feel truly blessed. I'm truly grateful. Um, just, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Um, let's get back to your reading. Uh, oh, and about private readings. If anyone needs one, just the, my email is right below this reading in the description box it's also on the about page it's also on the community page um, right next to the gift certificates which are also still available for the holidays or for whenever you need them um, there is an, a, a sample gift certificate very similar to the one you will receive um, there all the readings are on special right now including gift certificates that you buy for the holidays ten dollars off for your reading or whoever you buy the gift certificates for they're ten dollars off as well uh, my normal readings are over an hour long they're usually i try to keep them at an hour but they always go over um, they are normally 75 dollars they are 65 for now throughout the holiday as long as i can keep it going i'm going to keep it going um, also like i said if you purchase gift certificates same price ten dollars off okay guys um let's get moving on your reading I noticed at the bottom that you were grieving something with the Five of Cups, and it's something you really wanted here with the Nine of Cups. For some of you, you either are an Empress or in reverse, or you're dealing with the Empress in reverse. Um, something you really wanted, you're now grieving that. You do have something really balanced, but you're grieving for some reason, and you have the Lovers here. This is a choice in love. Okay, so I don't know why the grieving's going on because the cards around it look really nice. But back behind all that, ways back, there was some sneaky shady behavior with the Seven of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Empress in reverse. So there might have been something that went down in the past that still has you um, off right now because of this. Now, as we come into your reading... That's all past energy, except these current things that you're coming into with a little bit of, you know, feeling like you're getting your balance back after grieving something and needing to make a decision in a love situation because the lovers is all about, well, it could be love. It, the lovers really can be a decision that needs to be made in any area, but it usually has to do with some kind of partnership. Anyway, as we come into the reading, here it is, the decision, right? These are both decision cards. Two of Pentacles and Lovers. So needing to make a decision, balance things out. You're weighing out your options in possibly a, a relationship that's in reverse right now. The Hierophant in reverse. We also have the Chariot in reverse, not moving forward. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. We also have Death in reverse. That stuck, clingy energy here. We also have you guys right in the middle of your reading. Virgo, the Hierophant, and we have the Queen of Swords here. This can be a Libra. It can be somebody with Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in their chart somewhere. Now, all of these can be in their chart. Somebody could have Cancer in their chart, or you can. Hierophant can be somebody who has Taurus in their chart, or you can. Scorpio in their chart, or you can. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Gemini or you can. <laughs> Also, you could be dealing with another Virgo, but I believe this is representing you right in the middle of your reading. It's an important focal point. It's you. All right. Now, we have the Eight of Swords reversed. We also have the 
um, Knight of Swords. We also have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And we also have the Five of Wands. You guys have some clingy energy here. Eight of Cups reverse and Death reverse. This is something that you haven't walked away from that needed to be walked away from a long time ago, I feel. All right, because they're both in reverse. They're both clingy energy here. Now, sometimes the Eight of Cups is about revisiting something that you did walk away from. So, like you can see here, you have choices to make in the situation. Could they be a relationship? They could be because of the Hierophant and the lovers here. It's possible. Um, they could be a business partnership as well. They could be any kind of a partnership. Something's going on that's got you in the reverse and a partnership because the Hierophant is reversed here. Now, there is, and like when I started your reading before, I wish I could re-show you that video. I probably could, but it was very short because then I'm like, oh no, I don't know. I did, couldn't remember if the lovers came out in the upright or in the reverse, so I had to go look at it before I started going on. I didn't want to give you the wrong information, but I literally, when I went to speak, before I even laid out your cards, I told, I talked to you guys intro, thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, the personal reading information, all that stuff that I just said. All right, and right after I said it and went to talk about your, I laid out your cards, and when I went to talk about them, my throat chakra completely closed. And then I laid out your cards, and this is what I saw. The swords cards. These swords cards close my throat all the time with you guys, or with uh, different signs as well. But <clears throat> starting already, I'm touching the swords cards, and I'm starting to feel that throat chakra is going to close any second here. Somebody needs to speak up about something, and it's going to be done. I mean, you can see the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords speaking up. There's going to be some kind of truth being told here. All right, like I said, decision to make, possibly in a relationship, it's been reversed. So this is like a canceled soul contract or a canceled physical contract here going on. I feel like someone's literally weighing out their options here in a situation. Like I said, um, we do have not only the Hierophant, but the Chariot in reverse. No forward movement and a lot of stuck energy here. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Every row of your cards. This is all stuck energy. All of it. Eight of Cups Reverse, Chariot Reverse, and Death Reverse. These are all majorly stuck cards. And when I'm talking majorly, the Death card and the Chariot are majors. They're major arcana. And you have one, two, three, four major arcana in this little tiny five, if you count the Lover's card. Five major arcanas in this little tiny reading. In a ten card reading, half of your cards are major arcanas. That's crazy. Well, it's actually eleven cards. Um, but either way, and you have a court card, you have two court cards here, and they're both swords, and they're both in the upright, so truth and clarity is coming in for you. And you're going to get unstuck out of your head, at least. You're going to get out of the stress that you've been in with the Eight of Swords here reverse. So this is about someone coming out of their head about something. There's been some kind of squabbles, fighting, maybe other people getting involved with the Five of Wands here. You're going deep. You really are. You are doing what a Virgo does. Shining the light on the path in, ahead of you. Really contemplating and really trying to decide what do you want. You're weighing out your options. You're getting ready to make some kind of a choice. Some kind of truth is coming forward in this situation. All right, let's get into it. All right, for everybody this week, we're using the um, Gilded Revelry Lenormand. I did use the um, Healing Light Tarot for you. Now we're using the Gilded Revelry Lenormand's, and we're also going to use the After Tarot when we're done. Um, we're going to try and keep them short because I am really working my little booty off to get as much work as I can done today so that I can have some time with my son tomorrow. Okay, so Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages. For the collective. Oh, I'm sorry, not the collective, for Virgo. <laughs> I'm so dorky. Okay, for Virgo, for Virgo. Please send through the messages for Virgo for November 24th to the 30th, 2019. Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most. Help us clarify this reading for Virgo. All right, for anyone with Virgo placements. 
why is the Hierophant, no, let's look at, let's, let's figure this out. What is the decision here? Why, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Please, or go reading. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? What is this you're weighing out your options on? Two of Pentacles. Virgo. Two of Pentacles. Why is it here for Virgo? Loyalty. Wow. Someone's trying to decide whether to be loyal. Wow. Virgo. Hmm. All right. Hierophant in reverse. Why is the Hierophant in reverse here? Please, Virgo reading. Why is the Hierophant in reverse? In a love situation. Yep, this is a love relationship. Wow. Okay, now if this is business or something, there is definitely loyalty and love there. All right, someone's trying to decide whether to be loyal in a love situation that seems to be in the reverse right now. Okay, let's look at the chariot in reverse. Why is the chariot... Oops. Why? Oh, God, that's crazy. Talk about contradictory. This popped out. I got to admit I hadn't finished the question yet, but the rider is like the chariot almost. Look at it. Look at these. They look like the same damn card. So the so the rider pops out for the chariot, but I, I got to admit I hadn't even asked the question yet, so we're putting it back. The writer brings in a message, by the way. All right, they carry a messenger bag and they have a message. If it pops out again, we're going to keep it. All right, why is the chariot here reversed for the Virgo reading, please? Why is the chariot reversed? Virgo reading. Ah, look at that. The magnifying glass. So someone needs to look into something Somebody needs to look closer at something before they will move forward. Wow. All right. Something needs to be examined closer. I feel like that's what's keeping them from moving forward. Maybe the messenger was bringing in a message that would bring some clarity to a situation. Because I told you the writer did pop out. If it pops out again, we'll get a better idea of why that popped out. All right. Let's keep going here. Why is the Queen of Swords here, please, for the Virgo reading? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Virgo reading. Oh, yeah. Wow. We have the Fox and we have the Owls. The Owls are a couple. They also indicate wisdom. Somebody's trying to be a little bit sly here in a, in a relationship, in a couple situation. Trying to either sneak out of a relationship or doing something a little on the sly side. Now, the fox isn't a horrible, isn't a horrible card. Sometimes the fox is actually when somebody's trying to surprise you or do something nice. So, we're going to look into that a little bit. Why is the fox here, please, with the Queen of Swords for the Virgo reading? Why is the fox here with the Queen of Swords for the Virgo reading, please? Just one. Why is the fox here with the Queen of Swords for the Virgo reading? November 24th to the 30th, 2019. Here we go. Yeah, oh, the scythe. Yeah, someone's trying to... The scythe is all about, you know, cutting something out. The Queen of Swords cuts things out, too. So, I feel like somebody was being a little shady. And Queen of Swords, you know how the Queen of Swords is. She's just like, nope, that's not going to work for me. All right, so I feel like somebody is cutting someone out of a situation. And yes, I do feel like it was some kind of partnership of some sort. I'm not feeling love, though. I mean, you know, the owls can be any kind of partnership, really. All right, well, let's keep going. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here, please? Virgo reading. Yeah, everything's confusing. Something's really confusing here, and the hermit is really trying to figure out why. Why is this so confusing? Why is this so difficult? But the light is coming through here. So I feel like you will discover what it is um, if you just bide your time. I do feel as though the hermit literally is trying to see things clearer. 
All right, let's look at the death card reversed. What What is this clingy energy here? You guys know how I feel. I love the death card in the upright. I don't like it in reversed. In reverse, it's just like, um, the death card in the upright has a purpose. The death card in reverse is just dragging something on. Why is the death card reversed here, please, Virgo reading? Why is the death card reversed? Time, yeah, okay. So, listen, it's just a matter of time. I feel like it's just a matter of time and this death card is going to be in the upright and whatever it is, it's going to be transformed or done. All right. So right now it's clingy, but it, um, I feel like the truth is someone cut someone out. That's what I'm feeling. Whether it was you Virgo women or if somebody did this to you that was a woman or a man could have done this to you as a woman, you know, it, flip it around however it works, but somebody cut someone out and the other person is absolutely confused or it could be you that is confused and cut somebody out. You cut them out because you were so freaking confused. They confused the crap out of you and you cut them out. It's a matter of time before that transforms or ends, I feel. Um, there, this clingy energy has got to go one way or another because that just makes us feel trapped. All right, but you're coming out of that down here, but this is more about being in your head down here. So let's see why. Okay, that's good. Eight of, eight of swords reversed is good. Why is the eight of swords reversed here, please, for the Virgo reading? Okay, they, somebody gained some knowledge. Like I said, more information would surely be helpful. If we could really understand why someone won't move forward or why, you know, if you could get more information that could allow you to move forward would be really nice. This is more information coming in that's at least going to get you out of your head about whatever this is. And that's what I think was needed here because there's confusion because you don't, whenever you don't have all the answers, you're totally confused. You don't understand and you need to look deeper. And that's what the hermit is doing, looking deeper into something. All right. So let's talk about this knight of swords. Why is the knight of swords here, please? Virgo reading. Why is the knight of swords here? Oh, wow. Now. This is either about a woman and child and the truth coming out or some kind of truth being spoken, some clarity coming in about a mother and child or a woman and a child, or it's about something new. The child doesn't really have to be a child. Okay, this could be something new coming in with a woman and there's some kind of truth and clarity coming in as well, which is really great. I mean, if you're going to have something new with a woman... You want it to be truth. Now, some of you are getting some kind of truth about a woman, possibly a woman and a child. All right, so flip it however it works for your situation because all of you are going to have a different story. All right, now, how about this Eight of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here, please? Virgo reading. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed? Virgo reading. Why is Eight of Cups in reverse here? Virgo reading. This is a little more clingy, okay. Oh, wow. All right, so we got the tower and the letter. We got the tower and the letter. Now, this tower in this deck is a little different than regular tarot. It's more about business or big business or uh, government agencies or something like that. It also can be about protection and security. So... It's possible that someone is revisiting a situation. Hmm. Okay, so someone's revisiting a situation with a woman, possibly, um, and a child. Someone might be revisiting something that has to do with government stuff or um, child support or it could be work it could be business 
Okay, and someone's like revisiting it, I feel, or hasn't walked away from it, whatever it was, with the Eight of Cups here. I feel like it's revisiting, though. I'm going to get one more. Can I get one more, please, on the Eight of Cups in reverse, please, for Virgo reading? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse, Virgo reading? Eight of Cups in reverse. Why is it here? Oops, way too many. We're going to put them all back. I haven't seen any of them. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed, please? Virgo reading. Just one. Oh, darn it. I am so sorry, you guys. These little slippery cards are out of control. All right, one more time. I'm so sorry if the air condition is too loud for you guys. I'm going to speak up louder. Just popped back on again. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed for the Virgo reading? Please, only one card. Eight of Cups. Boy, that only popped. The air conditioner only came on for like two seconds. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse for the Virgo reading? Just one card, please. If we don't get one, guys, I'll keep moving on. Eight of, there we go. We got one. Beautiful. Oh, the snake. Ooh. So somebody was being sneaky and shady. Like I said, I feel like someone cut someone out because they thought they were being sneaky and shady. They were very confused by their behavior. All right, so here we have the snake. Yeah, it's really possible that someone cut someone out because they just didn't trust them. Why is the snake here, please, with the tower for the Virgo reading? Why is the snake here with the tower for the Virgo reading? Confusion. Yeah. Confusion. There is a lot of confusion around the situation. So, guys, I feel as though it's very possible that a mother cut someone out because she did not trust a situation. I do feel like there is some kind of information coming in that is definitely clearing things up, and it's only a matter of time till the situation ends or transforms. I feel like someone really wasn't sure about someone's loyalties. I do feel like... Someone is re-examining a situation. They want to know why as well. Um, someone won't move forward. Um, and this could be either or. So flip-flop it however the story works for you. But um, there was some confusion in this situation. I feel like someone's been very protective too as well with this tower here. Because like I said, that tower can be protection. But the... The tower could also be someone finding out about someone who did them dirty. Because, I mean, look, we have the tower and the letter. Tower and information about someone who did something shady and there's been a lot of confusion. And Eight of Cups reversed, needing to revisit this. Or someone's revisited it mentally. Like, sometimes this is not about... Sometimes I t tell people that the Eight of Cups is about... Revisiting something to get closure on it as well. And you don't even have to do it physically. You can do it mentally. All right, so that's a possibility. But I feel as though this is more physical. I do. I feel this is more physical. There's been some kind of shady something involved here. And something's been very... I'm going to go back to the lady and the child. Can I get one more card, please, on the lady and the child? just on the lady and the child. Wow, oh my gosh. Plenty and the star. Somebody had this earlier, I swear. So this is the star card. This can be Aquarius, and this can be Pisces, the fish. Plenty of 
I always, I always, always feel plenty of fish in the sea when I see this card. But I'm not feeling that for this. This feels more like... Hmm, very interesting. Can I get one more card on the lady and the child? I think this lady and child are important to your reading. That's why I'm looking so deeply in it. Why is the lady and the child here, please? Protection. Yep, I knew it. Yes. Okay, so this is news about protection. I really feel like this woman's protecting her child and doesn't want to take any risks with anyone she doesn't trust. That's what I feel. I feel the letter and protection. I mean, the letter in this tower can be protection. And then we get the bear protection and the letter. The rider. News of protection. All right, so there's a lot of protection coming in here, whether for this lady and her child or this lady protecting her child from anyone who's not, you know, on the up and up, anyone who's caused confusion, who one, anyone who's been sneaky, she's protecting. Wow. Okay. Well, if she's a mother, that's understandable. I'm a mother. I will protect my child to the end. Okay. Let's talk about the, um, Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here, please? Oh, yeah. Look at this direction and the ship moving in a different direction. All right. There's been a lot of this stuff going on, and we don't want to do this anymore. We need to move in a different direction where there's none of that going on. No more fighting. No more arguing. Moving out of that and into a different direction. At the bottom of the deck, we have the man. All right, very interesting. All right, so I feel as though most of this reading was about needing to make a choice in love, someone deciding whether they're going to be loyal to someone that they're kind of broke up from right now, um, needing to know uh, more information before they'll move forward in a situation. There's somebody here, possibly a queen of swords, whether it's you guys or someone else you're dealing with. Can be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. It could be anyone who's coming through in that energy of truth, honesty, clarity. The queen of swords does not mess around, and she will cut you out if she thinks that you are sneaky. All right? So, she's very, very wise. Queen of Swords is the smartest queen you're going to find because she's all about the intellect. She, Her mind's constantly, you know, constantly thinking. She thinks outside the box. She steps ahead of other people in her thinking. All right, we have here the Hermit, who's very confused, doesn't understand things. We also have here, which can be you, Gemini, we have here um, something that's clingy and stuck, but I feel like it's a matter of time before that comes to an end, whether one way or the other. We have someone who's going to get more information and get them out of their head. They're going to stop stressing. I feel as though we have some truth coming out here about a mother who's very protective of her child. Um, and I feel like something good's coming in for her or them or someone here because this is like hopes, wishes, and dreams and plenty. That means plenty of whatever's needed for this person. And I feel like there's some kind of news coming in about that and protection, whether it's protection for the mother or protection for both of them from someone else. I also believe that someone has been sneaky and caused a lot of confusion and there is some, again, letter and protection, again, and the Eight of Cups. So someone might have to revisit this situation. I do believe someone's going to choose a different direction because there's been too much fighting going on or arguing or other people getting involved in this situation. All right, now, hopefully that made sense to all y'all. And um, we're going to pull some after tarot see what happens next spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what comes next in this situation for the virgo reading what comes next virgo reading november 24th to the 30th 2019 what comes next in this situation please virgo reading for anyone with virgo placements what comes next Nope, way too many. I'm going to take the one that fell by itself earlier, but I'm not going to take all those. What comes next in this situation, Virgo reading, please? 
What comes next here? Just one or two more. Okay, we got them. All right, guys. Wow, nice. All right, so that person getting out of their head, this is the information coming in I talked to you about. Information coming in to get someone untrapped from this trapped feeling, this being stuck in their head. Someone comes in and literally gives her information. Look at it. Gets her out of it. Here, her or him. These don't have gender on them. I know they show a man helping her, but it could be the opposite. Okay, guys? Now, again here, same thing. Someone, oh, sorry, hanged man. Someone coming in. This person is literally being enlightened. Again, someone coming in. These all look to me like someone giving somebody information that helps them. This person's getting spiritual enlightenment in this position that they're in. Hanged man. Hopes, wishes, and dreams come and end. Just be careful not to be too gluttonous here because we don't want to overdo our hopes, wishes, and dreams to a point where it's to someone else's detriment. Okay, guys, um, let's grab a couple of angel cards. Angels, what is the advice for Virgo for, for the up-and-coming holiday week for Thanksgiving week starting um, tomorrow? Starting tomorrow till the end of the month. What is the angel advice for Virgo? What do you want them to focus on, please? All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Strength. Simplicity. And responsibility. Really nice. Keep it simple. Be strong about it and be responsible. I love it. So if somebody needs to give somebody some information about something so they can get out of their head, that'd be really nice. Um, also, I just feel like responsibility is this woman is very responsible for her child. She's strong. She just, I feel like she, she's just protecting her child. Now, if it's not her protecting the child, it's someone protecting both of them. Really nice. Okay, you guys let me know if you know anything about this reading, because it was very interesting the way there was this, you know, this loyalty, protection, and love, even though this relationship does not seem to be moving forward, which is odd. Anyway, just let me know what this is for each of you, please. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Again, if you need a private reading, email is right below this in that little description box. If not, it's on the about page. It's on the community page. And, um, please comment down below. I love talking to you guys, exchanging energy. And if you like the reading, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.